Okay, welcome along to another one of our uh, quick stop guides. Uh, in this one, we're going to cover how to get up and running with a Viada Ruder. Uh, we've put together a cheat sheet for you and we've made that available on our support site. So uh, we'll, we'll use that and we'll get uh, a Viada deployed on the, on the infrastructure and get connected to the internet. And then we're going to uh, uh, connect to a virtual machine um, across that Viada firewall from the public internet. Uh, so in, in our um, infrastructure here, we have a bunch of servers connected to an internal network. Uh, Viada routing is, is required, uh, or virtual router routing is required uh, for uh, this type of uh, configuration. Uh, I'll show you what that consists of. Uh, it, it consists of an external network, an EXT, and uh, an internal network. And you can have multiple internal networks, i.e. one per client with multiple interfaces off the back of a Viada. We'll do a little bit of a deeper dive on that in just a second. <clears throat> so in the meantime, I am going to uh, deploy a, a virtual router here from our templates as per normal. I'm going to call it Viada. Demo cluster. Demo resource pool. Demo data store. And I'm going to let that deploy. So while that's deploying, I'm going to make my way over to support.artisan.tv and I'm going to go to the downloads area, here we go, and look for the Viata cheat sheets. Uh, we're going to download this to our machine. And once that's open, we're going to start populating uh, the cheat sheet with the data. Uh, data uh, is provided by us. It goes hand in hand with your Viata networking. It's going to look something like this. This is just taken from uh, one of our configuration sheets. So this is our external network here. Um, and assigned to that external network is a slash 30 subnet and a gateway available. Uh, so we're going to use this um, to configure this cheat sheet. Uh, so our Viada interface, uh, if we pop this IP address into a subnet calculator, you're going to see that it's too usable. We've taken the first one for your gateway, so you only have .74 left available to you. So in the cheat sheet, we need to put that IP address in there. And not forgetting the network mask. Uh, the LAN interface, so this is going to be the IP address of the LAN interface and again the network mask and then the IP address of the internal network and the network mask. System gateway comes from the information there again, it's 3810940.73 in this example. And system name servers, we are going to go for Google 8.8.8.8. .8 throw a, uh, a password in here. Okay, and we'll uh, just take a quick look through what we have. So what we have, a bunch of tabs here on the bottom, uh, essentially giving you the commands that need to be entered. And these can be cut and paste. Um, once we have PuTTY uh, session established, uh, we do need to do a little bit of manual configuration in the console uh, just to get PuTTY established across the internet. Um, and we can do things like set system password, do some basic uh, natting uh, with some firewall rules, and then get a deep dive into opening up uh, remote desktop ports, etc. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, just uh, narrow our screen down a little bit here. So we can see that our Viada is uh, cloned and, and ready, to, ready to roll. So we just need to edit the machine real quick. Our first network adapter, join it to our external network. Make sure we're powered on, connected, powered on. Second network adapter, internal network. Make sure we're connected at power on. Go ahead and hit open a console and uh, power the machine up. Okay, so once our machine's booted up, uh, we're going to just enter in the uh, default username and password of Viada Viada. And we're going to drop straight into uh, configure mode. Get our Excel spreadsheet there. 
Okay, so it says on the Excel spreadsheet uh, that, that we've done for you, this cheat sheet, uh, configure, the, uh, configure from the console, then connect via SSH. Uh, so it's just these four uh, commands that you really need to configure. Uh, this sets the uh, Ethernet address, um, actually the three commands, so it's set, set the Ethernet address, give, the, give it a gateway, and enable SSH. Then we can hit this, uh, hit this device over the Internet and configure the rest using copy and paste. Uh, so first of all, I'm just going to uh, quickly inquire what our interfaces are doing. So we can do a run show interfaces. Uh, remember that you can tab to complete uh, the command in Viada. Uh, we can see that Ethernet uh, 0 and Ethernet 1 are both in the up state. Okay, so copy in our command. So this is going to be Ether 0. Address 3810940 74 30. We're going to do the set system gateway address. That's me tabbing just to complete 3810940 and uh, set service SSH. And then commit with one M. Okay, once committed, always remember to save your config. Uh, the config isn't persistent and will be wiped if you reboot until you save. Okay, so uh, I'm now going to try and connect over Paddy. Here's our security message for the certificate, and here's a PuDDY session directly to that Viada. Okay, now we're logged in. So on the console, I'm just going to uh, exit and exit again, and then close down that console window uh, so we can work directly from uh, PuDDY. Okay, so again, uh, back into configure mode. And I'm just going to then very quickly go through and copy and paste uh, the uh, commands that we didn't type manually. Uh, when you come across a block of commands, you can just copy the entire block and paste them in. Uh, once uh, you've uh, Reach the end. Reach the end of a tab. I would. I would recommend just committing those, just to make sure it's not going to come back with any errors. Uh, go to our system tab. Uh, this sets the uh, password. This next uh, command here enables a, uh, a web GUI um, reachable over SSL if required. commit that command and we can see it's enabled the uh, the web GUI uh, now for our static routes this will be for outbound internet static and this is going to be our natting uh, so this is a private LAN inside and uh, then we are going to commit those changes and we're going to save uh, so what I want to now do is go ahead and well, let's tell you what. Let's do a uh, couple of uh, network connectivity tests. We're going to do a ping um, gateway, so it's going to be a 38, 109, 40, 73. Okay, we get a response. Let's try a ping 8.8.8.8. That's the internet. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so the Viada can see outbound. Uh, let's pull up our console of this VM. And dive into that. Okay, so the VM already um, has configured, uh, we've configured this in the same, uh, same subnet with our gateway as we've configured on the Viada. We kind of went ahead and did this prior to this demo. 
so what we should now be able to do is um, pull up a command prompt here and let's try pinging the LAN interface off the VIADA. There's a response. Let's see if we can ping outbound. There's a response from the internet. Let's do a DNS lookup. So we'll do a ping uh, google.com. And there we go, it's come back with the address. So that's all functioning great. Uh, so I've already enabled remote desktop on this VM. So what I'm gonna do is connect to it over the internet using remote desktop. So we need to configure the Viada to uh, allow us to do that. So again, using our cheat sheet, we've uh, included uh, a tab here called uh, NAT and Firewall. So you can, you can use this tab to create all of your rules uh, one at a time, obviously. The NAT rule, uh, you can't have two of the same um, number. You've got to in increase these numbers as, as you go. It's the same with firewall rules. So uh, for this, we'll go port 3389. Again, up 3389. Um, it's going to be TCP. Uh, the internal device IP is, in this example is 192.168.1.10 and our WAN interface off of the other one uh, 38.109.40.74 and the LAN network again uh, 38 uh, sorry 192.168.1.0 and we'll call this RDP as a firewall rule okay the great thing we can do here is we can copy all of the commands in one big go, which is really handy. So I've copied this. I'm going to put the Viada into configure mode. I'm going to paste all of our rules just by right clicking. I'm going to grab the next set of rules. I'm going to copy them. I'm going to paste them. I'm going to do the usual commit, the usual save. The user exit out of config. I'm now going to then pull up a uh, remote desktop connection. There's our IP address of a Viada. I'm going to connect and we are now straight through um, onto this SQL machine. And there we go, you can see the, the previous screen that we were looking at. And we're now able to uh, browse, browse the internet, uh, search Google, and do everything we need to do. Okay, that uh, concludes um, this demo. Uh, if you have any questions in relation to the cheat sheet, please let us know at support.autosaninfrastructure.com. Um, otherwise, uh, take yourself along to viada.com um, and uh, refresh yourself on the uh, additional features that the Viada uh, device has um, and familiarize yourself with what the product can do for you. Okay, thank you.